Hey, I'm Mario Lopez, and this is Hater. Joe Francis is the man behind Girls Gone Wild, but not everyone's wild about Joe. Joe Francis has been drawing the ire of female detractors since he founded his Girls Gone Wild empire at the age of 24. The TNA tycoon swears he's been the victim of the gossip media, and today he's about to go head to head with a straight up hater. All right, I'm with Joe Francis, and we are cruising down the Sunset Strip right now, about to meet one of his biggest haters. What are some of the things that haters say about you? What have you heard? Look, I've heard everything. <laughs> <laughs> People have said, look, I exploit women, uh, that I'm this, you know, crazy party guy who's I, borderline, uh, <laughs> which is not the case. It's just not the case. You know, I'm a nice guy. I have a family like like you do, and I'm just in a really extraordinary and sensational line of work, I would say, with Girls Gone Wild. So how do you usually handle haters? Well, I roll with a bodyguard, as you know. Well, you're not going to have one today. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, Joe, we're pulling up to the Grafton Hotel. Let's take a look at your hater. This is Peggy. She's a single mom. She thought she was auditioning for a different reality show, and we asked her about you. I'm nervous. I hate Joe Francis. I have nothing but disdain for that man. He's making money on young girls when they're drunk or high or being stupid or experimenting. Like, dude, don't you know you're going straight to hell on the fast train? No, <laughs> it doesn't bother him at all. If I saw Joe Francis out somewhere having dinner, I swear to God, I would take whatever it is I had in my hand and I would dump it on his head. Uh oh. I would just. Try to humiliate him in public. He's destroyed people's lives. And to think that my daughter is an 11. I've already even warned her. Like, okay, if you meet somebody named Joe Francis, run immediately. I hate that man. Hate him, hate him, hate him. Wow. Whoa. Wow. She has uh, some very misconceived uh, ideas about me. They're based on headlines. I think it's going to be really hard right now to walk in and see her face to face, especially with the threat that Peggy's going to do what she said she's going to do and dump something over my head. All right, Joe, your hater is waiting in the lobby of the hotel. She thinks she's being treated to a spa day by her friend who is in on it. Welcome to the Grafton. And we got an actor playing the hotel desk clerk, OK? You're going to go in there, and you're going to give them the Joe Francis that they think they know, and really go over the top, like make a scene, have so fun with it. So I can have it. some fun with it. You have All right, a lot I'm of gonna fun. All right, I'm going to go over the top. Go don't, over the don't top. Don't eat me for it. No, 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 I won't, man. I won't. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do All it. Right. All right, let's do it. We are getting you set up in room 313. We're just waiting for housekeeping, so it'll be a few moments. 13 is my lucky number. Today's going to be fun. It is. I'm so excited. So excited. Us up. We're going to get the best room. I'm so excited. Yay! Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mr. Francis. Joe Francis, room uh, 312. Listen, I ordered a bunch of champagne and hors d'oeuvres to my room, and nothing's there at all. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> I apologize. Um, I can check with management. No, but it's been like, it's been an hour. I mean, seriously, make this right. Mr. Joe Francis, room 312. OK? Whoa, hang on a minute. Hey, pig guy. Oh, I hate that guy. That's Joe What's Francis. That's a Girls Gone Wild pig. Oh that's my. the Girls Gone Wild pig. Like, that's the oh pig that makes, oh my god. Come here. That's a Girls Gone Wild pig. Do you know what he's done to these poor girls? Me? You know when you're watching late night TV and it's like, girls gone wild, and you see the, I'm like, oh, I'm horrified at that whole thing. These are young girls that are impressionable. Imagine if that mm -hmm. followed you around everywhere you were for the rest of your life. I really don't hate anybody but him. I have nothing but disdain for him. Like, oh. Why are you even breathing my air and taking up my space? I'm a big pig, pig boy. You know what I call him? I call him a reputation rapist. I'm like seething right now. Oh, I just want to go tell that guy how much I just like him. Oh my God. I He's staying here at the hotel? Good, maybe I'll have the opportunity. Is he going to be a fool today? I don't know. What do you do if I pour a drink on a guest head? Like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I want you to make it bigger. This girl's okay? tough. She is tough, is. so we're going to take it to another level. Yeah, I got to let her tell you, Mom. Dream come true. Oh, and it's my birthday. You're a total <laughs> no. I totally got that. I totally got that. Hey, where was that girl? Where's the front desk girl? Hi, I'm gonna need like 20 more bottles of champagne. I need like 20 bottles of champagne and I need her. Excuse me. 
Can I tell excuse you me, something? Excuse me, excuse me. I'm dealing... like, I realize you're throwing a fit, but you know what? I got to tell you, I think you are a reputation rapist. You're a complete pig. You've made I'm not this, gonna... You've made this, just go do your thing. You've I just... made your living, like, exploiting these poor girls that are making really, probably stupid decisions. Did you get those 20 bottles of champagne for me? I mean, come on. I need a bigger room. Is the manager... You need a bigger room? Yeah. You probably I'm in 312. The biggest room. Oh you're my God. what? I'll, oh, I'll no. check with you're in 312? Really? I'll check. Oh, it's going to be an interesting day. Well, get ready, buddy, because every time you leave your room, I'm going to be there, be your conscience, because obviously you don't have one, or a heart, or a soul. So when did you make the deal with the devil? Just out of curiosity. Peggy's head is about to explode. I hate pig, pig boy. She's tough. She's not letting up. I don't even say you get up in the morning and live with yourself with what you do with your life. You? I don't even say you get up in the morning and live with yourself with what you do with your life. So when did you make the deal with the devil? Just out of curiosity. What's your name? I'm Peggy. Peggy Joe Francis. Nice to meet you. Now listen, do you it's like to party? It's nice to meet me, because I'm not a 16-year-old on a beach naked signing my rights away to you. Thank do you know her? I do. This is my friend, Peggy. Oh. Hi. Yeah, I'm her friend. Okay. I got, I got a little bit I'm of I'm having a party tea, later. Jeff. If you want to come with us, <laughs> what do you think? Well, wait, she's not I'm 16 in, and new. I'm up in 312. How is my room doing? <laughs> Hi, baby. How you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you guys. Good to see you. This is awesome. Oh, I'm waiting for a thing. Like, I'm, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm 22. How old are you? It's actually my birthday today. Happy birthday. Quantify it for me. Quantify. How old are you? Yes. I'll tell Francis off and what I really think about it. Really? That's a birthday present? Come on, girls, jump in here anytime. Some random woman at the front desk is harassing me. Come on. Whitney, this is charity work, isn't it? Caitlin? Yeah, there you go. For the good of man. He's fun. I'm sure he is. I'm a good time. I get back. Hey girls, go go to the room. Go to the room. I'm gonna make a call. I'm gonna find the manager. Excuse me. Excuse me. I sent champagne up there. God. This is ridiculous. Wow. I have such feelings of the same for him, I can't help but tell him what a piggy is. And he, you know what? He doesn't get it. He doesn't think there's anything wrong with this situation. That's him. Typical, typical Joe Francis. Unbelievable. Ugh. He's going to hell on fast train, as far as I'm concerned. Like, choo choo. Make way. All right, Joe, this is a final act, man. You're going to go in there, be your real self. I'm and nervous, though. Educate her a little she, bit about what this, you do. This woman does not like me at all. I'm just shaking. I'm still so. I'm just what? really. Oh, my God. All right, you ready? Go do it, bud. All right. Have a moral compass. This moral compass is so broken. You, are you inviting me back up to your room because the girls called their mother and they yeah, came Yeah, yeah. I always travel with film crew, so I figured, okay. why not? Hi. Don't worry, I'm not going to show anything. I'm not going to get drunk and sign anything away. No. I just need to talk to you about what you think about me. Come on, am I really that bad a guy? I think maybe you need to make some adjustments to what you're doing. Well, because what? there are a lot of I'll things you, you could do to help girls, and I think what you're doing harms them. But you admit, you don't know me at all, right? You've never, met, you've what, never met I've me, never you don't know you, me, right? I know what I think of okay. you based on your product and based on your based lifestyle on, Based on that I know my of, character on television. On the media. My product and the media. Right. All three, I, I believe, unfair assessments of who I really am. Okay. All right. Hi, Peggy. I'm a woman of my work. <gasps> hi! How are you? <laughs> you got the hi from hey. Peggy. Hey. Nice to meet you. What's going on? We know clearly you're a Joe hater, <laughs> and there's cameras hidden all over the place here. You're on the show, Hater. So this guy has really been sort of playing a role. He's given you the Joe Francis that, that you think you know. We want to give you the opportunity to spend a little time with Joe to get to know the real Joe, and then you can form your opinion afterwards. All right, I'm a Joe Francis hater to the core. I have very strong opinions about what's right and what's wrong. And I think what he's doing is wrong. And if he thinks he can convince me otherwise, good luck. State your case, and we'll make an assessment. Well, let's hang out. All right. All right, Peggy, deal? All right. Deal? deal. All I want is a fair shake. From what I heard Peggy saying about me, this is going to be a long day. I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that think the same way. But, you know, they're not based on anything, I think. They're based on headlines and... That's what my challenge is, I guess. I want to see if I can make her understand who I am and 
turn my hater around, turn my hater into a lover. Where, where are you taking me? Well, we're actually going to my house. Is that cool? We're going yeah, to you, your house. Yeah, if I take you home, it's your birthday. Peggy is wrong about me, definitely, 100%. I'm hoping that Peggy has an open mind, because, you know, I think I'm a pretty good guy, and, and I know I'm a pretty good guy. Why do you hate me? That's what I want to know. Why are you a hater? Well, I would tell you. Well, I was I... just going to point out, this is Nancy Reagan's house up here on the right. Oh, right where on. Where she lives, so. So talk to me. Tell me what you were saying. Honestly, you and I need to clear the air. Well, this is the deal, you know. This you... is the house. Have you ever seen the Beverly Hillbillies? Yes, I have. This is the house at the beginning of the Beverly Hillbillies right here on the right-hand side. But I really want to hear what you had to say. I think you're making bad choices with what you're doing with your this life. This is Michael Bay's house. He's building. Instead of talking to me, he's telling me his neighbors. And that accomplished absolutely nothing. You are every mom's worst nightmare. So, so, I've got to tell you so that. Let me How ask does that make you feel? So you think, well, that's your opinion, and you're entitled to that. But you think... A lot of people's opinions, Joe. Really? Yes. I'd rather be sticking myself in the eye with hot coals than be sitting in a car with Joe Francis. It's uncomfortable, blindingly awkward, and I never, ever thought I would be here, ever.